So great. thank you so much uh, for making it today. Um, great to have you on. Um, yeah, so let's begin with your story. I mean, not directly into Seller App. We first want to know more, more about you, um, about what you used to do, and how did you uh, make this jump into a great company um, like Seller Apps? Absolutely. Thank you, Omar, for firstly for inviting me over. It's really, I'm excited to be here and thank you for the honor. So before I get into, of course, Seller App, as you mentioned, I'll give a little background about myself. So I am Priyanka Bor, I'm Director of Marketing at Seller App today. But prior to this, I have worked in the financial industry, which is very different from what we are doing today in the e-commerce space. I have about 11 years of work experience and eight out of those 11 years, I have worked in varied financial roles across geographies from Singapore, Dubai, as well as in the United States. I've worked with Prudential in Singapore and Dunya Finance, um, then Morgan Stanley in the United States, which is a top investment bank. And my last stint before I moved back to my home country was with TD Ameritrade uh, as a financial advisor. So I have been very, very proud of part in portfolio management and financial services. Uh, however, after I moved back, you know, obviously with the advent of digital marketing and, you know, it's the upcoming thing right now, like everybody is into it. And, and, and um, I headed a company called Opal Advertising and Marketing. It's a family owned company. Um, we were into the traditional marketing space, but we wanted to go digital and hence that kind of developed my interest um, for getting, you know, digital marketing. I even did a course in digital marketing, applied analytics, and then through that, I got an opportunity to work with Setup, and here I am right now in front of you talking about the e-commerce and Amazon giant per se. So yeah, very excited. And uh, my journey with Setup as well has been amazing. I've been here for over a year now and um, learned so, so much. I did not know that this, this, this fraternity or this close-knit space, you know, people are doing just so much in this space, but it was just not even known to me until I actually got into it. And it really amuses me how big this community is getting now. Oh, it's, 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 it's definitely amazing. And uh, I mean, your, your background um, brings all these things together, you know, the finance part, the e-commerce yeah. part, and then going into, into seller apps and under, understand, understand the community as well. Um, the Amazon mm -hmm. community, not on, not on the Amazon. I mean, beyond that, you know, it's... Uh, we're, we're, we're heading into times where it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And I can see as well from, from, seller, from seller App how fast uh, you guys have been growing um, just the last few months. And it's, uh, it's, it's really a pleasure to, to see these different companies uh, coming out um, and bringing their valuable services um, to the market, especially softwares, um, which help actually sellers in order to, to, uh, uh, to achieve more to, to sell more. And yeah, being part of this is definitely, uh, as you said, Priyanka, um, Very amazing, you know, it's, it's, yes, it's, yes. it's really, I'm loving every bit of it. It's so it's much really to learn. Good. Every day I'm learning something new, Omar. Like it's, it's not even funny. You know, every day there's something new to learn. And Amazon itself is just so complex and so vast. You can never kind of get enough of it. You can never know all about it. You know, they're no. like coming up with updates constantly and it's just, yeah, there's so much to know. You, 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 literally, you literally need to have like VAs who are studying every day the news which are coming out from Amazon in order to, to pick out what you really uh, can use and, and you know, which, which information is useful for the company or uh, useful for your clients as well. Because you, the best would be to update everyone all the time, which is almost impossible because the news are too much. So we have to be very specific. Uh, about what you do and nobody can tell me that they know amazon 100 percent. it's not possible oh yeah possible. absolutely We're, it's uh it's just too much even the, veterans, even the veterans wouldn't tell you that <laughs> yes definitely definitely yeah so that's that's already really good i mean your your background is 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 really uh sp specifically for this uh type of uh, industry and as well for uh, seller very valuable and um yeah there as well what about what about the growth of Amazon? How has it been like? I mean, especially for someone who's selling on the platform uh, on, on on Amazon or uh, let's say Amazon India or uh, Amazon US. Um, mm -hmm. What do you think? How this growth 
um, where this growth is coming from and where we are, where are we going to go in the, uh, in the future with this? Sure, sure. So I think Amazon has definitely placed itself as the market leader in this space, in the e-commerce, you know, marketplace area for a few years now. I mean, now I think it's more like they've monopolized the whole market, right? And what's really interesting... Monopolization. Not- very good. Very good. I like this word, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, totally they are. And um, what's even interesting is that it's not just a marketplace, but as most of us also know, it's also something similar to Google. It's also like a search engine, right? Where it really anticipates, uh, you know, there's analytics to really understand the buying behavior of the customer, the patterns, the needs of the customer. You know, they're targeting ads according to what you visited before in the past and so on. They know it all, just like Google does, right? So there's no hidden information there as well. So as a seller, what this typically means is that you're being able to cater to this um, search engine to really get your product noticed among all the buyers and competitors with the community really growing at, you know, at a rate of, let's say, uh, I think 2,500 new sellers per day with the current community at about 9.7 million worldwide. It's become extremely cutthroat. There's like an abundance of competition. It's becoming extremely challenging to even get good visibility amongst all these players, right? So it's, and and, and in order to target the right customers, I would say, and get better conversions, data is going to be your best friend. You know, you need data, you need all those metrics to really gauge uh, and be able to make uh, informed decisions or, you know, get those actionable insights and make those decisions uh, to get on the top page, search, sorry, search pages of Amazon and so on. You need to know where the buyers are based, what times are they the most active, so to, you're able to target them accordingly. Um, and you also need to anticipate what their buying pattern has been like. So, and but what I actually feel that by you know foreseeing some of these customer behavior, you're actually able, able to write, really use the right keywords, um, optimize your listings and so on in the title or on the back end search terms, whether they're a close match or relevant for the search terms that you're really searching. So. I think optimization has also become really key for all these sellers to get better sales and, you know, products description needs to be um, very vividly described because obviously you can't touch and feel the product. So you want to be very close to exactly what your product is all about. You want to make sure that your keywords are indexed. You want to make sure that you're following the A9 algorithm because that's constantly changing as far as Amazon is concerned. So really going back to your question, Omar, of, you know, how the, how growth of these sellers on Amazon has been like, I think, it has been phenomenal. It has definitely evolved over the years with so many new features coming in on a constant, uh, you know, regular basis, even in Seller Central to help the sellers really make their product more visible, be out there um, and be there in front of competition. There's just the opportunities that they provide to really get good visibility or whether it is not just visibility, but everything, right? Whether it is to manage your inventory properly, to get like, you know, your marketing efforts incentivized. It really has a lot of exponential growth, not to forget, you know, views, ratings, feedback, yeah. um, all of those kind of things. So that kind of just add to the credibility, authenticity of your product. And Amazon really goes um, far and beyond and out of the way to make sure that you never run out of options, particularly for sellers. So, yeah. No, definitely, I, I I agree with that, and we're we're looking at great times. Um, but <laughs> as well as well with the with the growth comes uh, comes a lot of data, and all of all of the, all of this uh, data cannot be manually dealt with anymore. If you have, uh, for example, as an agency or as a seller, when you have a lot of products and you you sell tens of thousands per per month of them, it's it's very mm-hmm. hard. To actually understand your data, or uh, we're not anymore in the times where you have Excel sheets, and then you know we we just uh, uh, look at other sellers what they do and all of this. Now we have we have really apps such as Seller App in order to um, to uh, to to know more and about you your customer, that, yeah. about agencies, mm-hmm. about the whole market, about all, all these data. So please tell me a little bit more about Seller Apps. Uh, what it does and how it can improve the life of sellers, actually, which we at the end we want because we want them to make money. We're not just getting out a beautiful tool uh, and then it does nothing. No, it, actually, we want to make money. So please tell us more about it. Sure, sure, sure. So Seller App Story actually began back in 2017. Our co-founders were entrepreneurs who had you know, worked with many big companies in the past and to really guide them in their product launch strategies and really product marketing, so to speak. So they realized the potential of 
e-commerce industry and how it is going to look like for the future or how it's going to be you know the future of shopping is what they understood well so working with all of these big companies enable them to really realize the customer is of utmost importance and um, i think that led to growth and the idea the you know the conceptualized inception of of uh, seller app or success for an e-commerce business and not just this i think our co-founders also identified the necessity and as you mentioned the need for data because without data you are really more like handicapped right what are you going to do about it uh, firstly you need to understand data in a more seamless in a more processed in a more consumable comprehensible way to make sense of the data and then of course based on those data points what decisions you make i think make a mark in the industry right so um the necessity of having those data driven insights in the growth uh for the seller on amazon i think that's what they recognized and of course having a knack for problem solving and a mission to create the biggest data repository for an amazon seller to empower them actually led to you know formation or you know inception of seller app so that's where we started or not we but like both of them started our co-founders dilip baman and enbridge porohit and that was the idea behind it of course seller app uh, as i mentioned is primarily you know, a tool it's a software it's a leading data analytics platform for sellers alike and whichever level you are at whether you're at a beginner level intermediate level or a power advanced level seller we have solutions catering to the entire spectrum and uh, for example if you're a beginner seller and you are you don't even know what to what to sell you know you're just starting to look for a product or you're thinking of what to even start selling on amazon then we have features catering or solutions catering uh, for someone who's at a beginner level you know to do that product research which categories are top performing where is the demand low competition high demand and basically to help you make that choice of what to start even selling right um our uh, seller apps keyword or i mean the data points that we have is about 35 million keywords for you to even consider so not wow, just this database that's a lot yes um and it keeps getting more right because we getting sure. more and more data all the time so you know and different metrics to really you know find you the perfect fit in terms of let's say what are the top 10 okay keywords or 100k average search volumes and so on now another thing that we have also is a sales dashboard um which also really helps sellers get an overview or as well as a detailed report on what's like generating the most revenue for them what's the sales velocity like what's the best selling product what what do you want to kind of push out and or or you know what's not doing so well and you don't want to spend more money on that and so on um how well your inventory levels are stocked up are you actually running out of inventory for instance uh which uh, products would kind of benefit from increased ad spend and so on you know and even for keywords is like you know which are not converting for you or which are not doing well you want to kind of move them into negative and so on so um we have all of these features and last but not the least i would really talk about seller app advertising which is uh, our best feature and we really take pride in two things of course our data and then uh, seller app advertising which really helps you run your ppc campaigns per your uh, marketing goals with smart insights market intelligence business monitoring reporting it helps you you know uh, cut those repetitive workflows and really automate your processes so i think that is one of our best features um, so far but we also have a freemium model which i do want to touch upon uh, and it's absolutely free for everybody for uh, all sellers it's absolutely free all the primary features are free there's no strings attached no credit card connects nothing needed you can still access our advertising feature primary features product research keep it all of them um absolutely for free and as well as we have an managed service section as well where you know where we are doing the heavy lifting for you the hand holding for you there are dedicated account managers who take care of your account so we we are a full full suite of tools available for every genre uh, whoever wants to experiment with it okay wow that's a lot of information a lot of good information and a lot of help for sellers as well so yes. when if i understood correctly so you take over the advertising part um you take over the manual part and as well the automatic part because yes. obviously when there is too much data having uh, 20 account managers working on ppc all day long uh would be a bit hard i mean it still exists i have seen <coughs> offices with <coughs> with 40 
uh, uh, employees in there which working nonstop on PPC. This is what we call the manual work. And we have as well the automatic part. So uh, advertising, yeah. on, advertising on Amazon is definitely growing. So if we look at the US, um, we, there is, uh, that's why I'm always saying you have to have a big, big budget in order to compete with sellers in the US. That's why I always tell people to come to the European Union because it's still, <laughs> it's still affordable. It's, I don't say it's cheap. I say it's, uh, the clicks are affordable, more affordable than the US. And that's why you have the same space as the US. You have the whole European Union where you can sell. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have to have a bit of uh, VAT numbers and ORI numbers and everything set up. But there's companies taking care of this, not a problem. So Absolutely. within the EU, you have the PPC, which is now really affordable for any, if you are a US seller and you look at the UE, it's definitely affordable for you. So everything is growing at the moment. Where do you think um, it will go and how can uh, seller apps actually uh, help um, when, when all of this is going uh, to some point where, where nobody has a, a real plan anymore? I mean, where is your software going? What is the next step for you for, for this particular service for PPC? Advertising, of course, of course. Um, I think this really ties me back to what I was discussing about the sellers on Amazon growing by the day. And, you know, which also means that... Uh, multitude of options are available to a buyer. So um, I think sellers really need to stand out even before they even you know, need to strategically position their product um, to even like for a buyer to even notice their product or, you know, click on it. So I think the way to cross this first hurdle is advertising and really getting in front of your um, clients or, or the buyers rather, getting a product in the top four, running campaigns on similar products, I think retargeting all those abandoned carts and so on. So this comes at a cost, of course. I mean, there's no sure. free lunches in this world. So um, with no guidance, chances are, I think, you know, you're always going to get lost and you're probably going to burn a big hole in your pocket. You won't be able to get a good return on investment. You're probably going to end up with a very high advertising cost of spend, which is also called a cost. So, you know, all these, and it's primarily because, of course, you firstly maybe don't know how to do advertising well, or there's just dearth of knowledge that you have when it comes to advertising. So I think this is where we kind of step in and seller app comes into the picture. And let me kind of segment that based on the seller type. So let's say, okay. you know, for an intermediate level seller, the solutions are going to be a little different from what a, to a beginner level or a, a advanced level would be. So at an intermediate level and advanced level, people are mostly looking to just increase their conversions and sales and so on. They're getting more ROI there. So advertising on Amazon actually includes a lot of options. You can go for sponsored um, products, sponsored display ads, and sponsored brands. As a seller who's really handling multiple products, there's you know a lot that needs to, gun, uh, to get done. Excuse me. So starting all the way from really identifying the right keywords to bid on, optimizing your listings, um, creating different campaigns, uh, you know, for those products based on different segments of customers, different ad groups, advertising at the right time, targeting the right audience. Um, not to mention, of course, all the products that can get quite overwhelming. And so with all that, you know, you cannot be doing all of this manually. And of course, automation does really, really help you in that sense. Um, Seller app also, as I mentioned, is a data analytics platform that helps you optimize your PPC campaigns and automate them based on your specific campaign goals. So um, our, our dashboard also pretty, you know, it, it also includes business monitoring. And as I mentioned, reporting, not just from an ASIN level, but at the keyword level as well. It goes down to as granular as you want. It can give you celebrity reports, customability, uh, you know, yeah, customization reports, all of those things can be generated, which will help you in making those decisions better, as I mentioned earlier. So, you know, all these insights, automation uh, segment where you can really customize your campaigns based on your requirements. And again, based on your campaign goals, you can create custom rules for your, uh, for your customer behavior. We have something called ROI optimizer we have a keyword harvester we have a money saver and all these things are catering to different uh, you know goals that you may have so the purpose of these rules is really to maximize your returns and you know help you with your ad spend and really 
budget optimization is also one of the things that we kind of do with this amplifying to get your campaigns reach where you definitely want them to reach does that make sense so Definitely. you know uh, you know automation helps you get rid of all those repetitive workflows and manually optimizing your campaigns which leaves you with more time to really spend that time in strategizing you know how to better market your product and so on because if you're stuck in the roots and just doing all of this on a day in day out basis you're going to go crazy just looking at and especially if you have more than one product it's not just one product and it's still manageable i think but if you have more products is definitely gets very very cumbersome and automation definitely helps there and that's something that we do of course as i mentioned earlier the new feature that we have in advertising is also called day parting which will help you make optimum use of your advertising budget so you can segment your day into parts as to when and how you want to you know you can allocate a certain budget for the entire day of this hour that this needs to get out or this placement my ad placements to go out in the certain time of the day where maybe there are more people looking at your product at the time or visiting that page at that time and so on so you can allocate your advertising budget accordingly to the hours when your consumers are actually most active uh, leading to budget optimization leading to target optimization and lastly for bigger sellers i would say again they can always reach out to our team uh for these account managed services as i said where we have a dedicated team 24/7 working 365 days a year uh and they will be doing you know you don't have to really reinvent the wheel there they're going to do all the heavy lifting and the hand holding for you okay. to make sure that you have enough time on your hand to take care of how your products are doing to make sure your inventory levels are up and so on and you can focus your energies on that front because the team is there to take care of that other bigger okay. things Well wow. uh that's that's I mean it's it's really good and what I see in there is as well because because of the whole data and and this whole um yeah the the, the advertising you can really segment uh, your customer and make sure that you always prepared uh for different events which occur in the future or uh especially on Amazon something like Prime Day um or or uh, Q4 or Christmas um how how do you prepare for that i mean uh, because it's just uh, prime day just finished uh, there is different opinions about prime day uh, i have obviously my own opinion about prime day <laughs> um uh, but let's talk about let's talk about the data here prime prime day uh, is gone obviously and now we're looking at q4 i'm very very enthusiastic about uh, end of the year um because it's the best time for 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 for, for me personally um for other sellers so what is what is your advice on that i mean i have as well advices on that uh, for me a quick advice very quick advice is always look at the year before when you check your keywords and then mm -hmm. bring your keywords into the new campaign um don't reinvent the wheel uh the keywords will be mostly the same as the okay. year before obviously there is a little tweak here here and there but you know that's just a little tip if anybody uh, is interested in in that as well so please what is your advice about that uh, for q4 you mean yes oh yeah absolutely i think um, you know you want to look at the trends that did well or the categories that really did well and if and, and as as you know you mentioned you brought up uh, prime day as well earlier so all i would want to say that i think a little bit about this year's prime day i think it was bigger than ever before <laughs> and the best selling categories were consumer electronics household essentials um a home but worldwide the categories that gained the best selling spot were amazon devices consumer electronics and home and consumer electronics and household essentials and you know home goods is something omar that i have seen uh, year on year gain the top ranks ever you know always there whether it's thanksgiving whether it's christmas sale whether it's uh, um you know of course prime day every year these are always kind of ruling the roots pet pets and supplies is another one you know which yes. which i feel that they're always uh, on the top of those categories so i think you know if you are also either whether you're a beginner seller so either you plan to get into these categories and kind of search a product which you want to sell between them or if you're already someone who are selling these categories as you mentioned you know using the right keywords um you know you can also look at through metrics and through data you can also look at what the competitors if they have done better than you then you can see what they have used and kind of use them in your listings and use those keywords in yours that would be something definitely that i would say will ensure that you get your sales high also i think retargeting customers that may yes. have visited your page um during prime day 
uh, you want to retarget those customers in multiple ways that you can do that. You can also redirect them through other social media channels and get them to visit your Amazon storefront. But also there's, you know, attribution programs, there's bonus referral programs. Um, there is retargeting strategies. Also, the PPC rates during Prime Day are at a peak. So, you know, you want to continue targeting if your product has sold really well and you've seen good sales momentum during Prime Day, then you want to continue kind of retargeting those customers and selling those products because CPC rates go down right after Prime Day is over. So you can still keep up with that momentum and still continue to, you know, uh, show that visibility and advertise for those products. Um, having said that, I think Prime Day was just about 48 hours of sale. And you can see that, you know, data for retargeting can also carry this momentum forward in Q4 as well by analyzing what keywords worked best for you and also which hours the customers were the most active for. So Q4 preparations have already now started. And I think my biggest advice for every seller would be to pull up your socks, get your inventories all stocked up, get them ready, smell the coffee and get cracking on the Q4 approach. Wow, that's a very that's. I think it's good advice, and um, um, like I said, I I agree with that. And there is a uh, plenty good things to 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 pull out of there. So I think Q4 uh, can be coming. Um, I'm sure everyone is already working on it. And uh, yeah, let, let's let's see what what this is going to give us. Um, yeah, uh, Priyanka, I have I have a question for you. Um, actually, um, it kind of comes into the advices as well, but this is more a global advice for. Um, for sellers in general or for entrepreneurs, what would be um, your message? If you have a message for everyone out there, just a sentence, what would that be? For everyone, for Q4? Q4 or, or beyond, beyond, beyond uh, anything what you, uh, for entre entrepreneurs who want to go into entrepreneurship or one who is uh, very deep in there already. Uh, related to Amazon or just general? <laughs> generally, generally. I think if you are an entrepreneur, you want to get into entrepreneurship. I think if there's a dream that you've had that you want to chase it because, you know, you, you know, and, and multiple times failing should not demotivate you. It should always be something that you've fallen only to rise again. So you should keep trying because, you know, as it's like the old adage and the old cliche statement that one day you will succeed. But I think if something that you're absolutely passionate about and something that you really want to do, you should definitely in your lifetime give it an attempt, but with your full heart and full soul and give it your 100% in whatever that you want to do. This is for whoever wants to do whatever in life, whether it's a job that you're pursuing, whether it's a course that you're pursuing, whether it's for entrepreneurship, anything that you want to do in life, I think you should um, do it with full, full capacity. Great. This is exactly what I wanted to hear. And I agree completely with you. Um, very, very good reply to, to that question. Um, yeah. Where can anyone... You can't be on the spot there, but yeah. Yes, yes, yes. yes. No, it's uh, because, because this is a question. I'm sure I, I was sure you, you can reply to it. No. Uh, yeah, 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 of course, uh, of course. Like, yeah. Um, just one more, uh, one more question. Um, where can anyone contact you who uh, wants to have... Uh, wants to know more about seller app or maybe wants to get in uh, contact with you personally that you can sure. explain to them uh, a bit more about uh, what you can do for them and please i'm very happy to answer any questions that you may have all the viewers and all the audiences that are watching this show this podcast i'm very happy to answer and if you want to get like you know online with me and we can like a demo everything i'm very happy to do that so my email id is priyanka.bora at sellerapp.com you can also write to us at support at sellrap.com and Great. we'll be very happy to get back will, to you we are I will happy place, to yes i will place everything Anything under it yes great perfect thank you so much thank you omar for having me over it was great talking to you and thank i'm you sure as well. you... <laughs> yes okay great priyanka see you later Bye. thank you